You are now listening to the voice of Tamar with Vanessa Santiago. Hey, hey, y'all. So welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> this podcast is going to be um, a little different than other podcasts and maybe even surprising to some. So instead of doing disclaimers, I'm going to jump right into it. Um, recently, I went to Jamaica and I spent a good amount of time just really reflecting and asking God for direction and asking really hard conversations about specific things that I had in mind. And my podcast was one of those things. Towards the end of season two, I was struggling to pull out content and I wasn't completely sure if it was my lack of study time or my lack of revelation or my lack of like just being willing to kind of dig into some of my past to pull things out. So I took a quick break and then started season three off with guests so that I could really investigate my thoughts and ask God for clarity. I am super super glad that the guests that I have had on the podcast were really awesome and were able to offer a different perspective on their own personal experiences that didn't necessarily mirror mine and after I added every guest that the Lord really brought to mind onto the podcast I knew that it was time for me to kind of kick back in and start to share my experiences again or even some of the advice that I had so that we could continue to podcast and it felt a little bit hard and I think after my vacation and just spending some time in prayer and having conversations with people that I really love and respect and know love me enough to tell me the truth about what I'm sharing with them I have determined that my podcasting time has come to an end and I don't sing that super happy. I think I have to be joyous so that I'm not feeling super sad or like I'm disappointing anybody or honestly, so I don't put myself in a position where I could take you to podcast knowing that this part of what God has told me to do has ended and then you will all find me in a place where I'm podcasting just to people please. And that is not the testimony that the good Lord has given and so many of you are probably going to wonder what is happening with the voice of Tamar as we move forward. And I want to tell y'all that I just don't know. Um, I think that everything that I have had to give, everything that the Lord has released me to share is on these last two seasons and most of the third season. And so I'm going to go into a time of just really separating myself um if you follow me on social media there's just been a lot of shifting going on in my life and I do think that God is just going to take me into a place of heavy study time and just kind of renewing and learning and living a little bit more about life I have found a love recently and it has been amazing it is a journey too I share often with you guys that relationships are the most um they're the, the biggest struggle that I have with my healing process. It was the way that I try to find love and validation and all these things. And so this time around, as love has come to knock on my door with great intention, I am learning to be loved and I'm learning what it's like to stay in a relationship when you don't necessarily um, understand the next steps or when you don't or when you disagree because if you know me <laughs> that is the time for me to run into the hills and so I just really feel like it's a time where I'm supposed to live a little bit more of a life so that when I do circle back around and have conversations about the podcast I can do it from a very filled cup very filled cup another thing is that I've been working really closely with s- certain individuals who've experienced the trauma that I have experienced and although I never claim to know it all there are some things that I have learned along in my journey and so kind of walking hand in hand with them has been very fulfilling and so although you won't be hearing a lot about the voice of Tamar at least specifically through podcasts I am kind of working with different women one-on-one and that's pretty awesome 
this work for me will never stop. So not podcasting does not mean that sexual assault and people healing from it and awareness and conversations that need to be had with children is something that I'm going to go on pause about. You will always see it on my timeline until the end of time. It's just that I won't be podcasting. I have been blogging just a little bit more recently than I have in the past. So you might find me there. Um, The truth is I cannot give you the next leg of my journey as I am still navigating and asking God for direction on what that will look like. You can go to my website, vanessa-santiago.com and give us your email so that we can keep you updated with with what is to come i have a billion thoughts on what could happen next including reading books with women who've experienced this specific kind of trauma and really digging into the book so that we can establish a better and more healed and whole life. So I just want to say thank y'all. I, I'm not even going to say goodbye because it's definitely not goodbye. You might find a bonus podcast here and there, but I do want to say thank you to everybody who has supported the podcast specifically. I know that you guys are listening and sharing it with friends and I've heard so many amazing testimonies. In the event though that you feel like there is a specific topic that I did not touch, you can go into the contact us box on my website and kind of share that too um, share whatever you would like to hear me talk about and if it be the Lord's will I'll do that so I'm not gonna say goodbye and I've said that like seven times but I just don't know how to end this podcast please just continue to listen to the podcast and maybe revisit some too one thing that I've identified is that after you pass certain legs of your journey you're able to receive things that probably landed wrong to you the first time you heard it make sure you're also still continuing to share the podcast I know that there are women and men who still need to hear my experience and the experience of others and tips on how to navigate through those things I'm super grateful to my producer slash 10,000 other things that he does, Miguel Lebron, for all the support that he has given me thus far and really understanding the vision that God has given me and being patient with me as my very type B personality has been trying to craft what the next steps are supposed to look and honestly just tossing ideas in my direction. He's super appreciated. And everybody who's listened and purchased merchandise that really helps financially support this mission, I appreciate you. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm saying hear from me later. 